How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. We are coming at you with some more Mezco today, surprisingly. Still don't have that Indiana Jones Mezco. That was supposed to be my first one. It was supposed to come out March or April or something like that. And still no news. They did show them off at New York Comic Con, but we still don't have them. But what we do have is Big Head, aka The Mask. Um, he was up on Mezco.com and then, of course, he went out and then a new pre-order went up on like Big Bad Toy Store and Mezco and those went out within like a month. So yeah, I got him pretty quickly. So with all that being said, we'll take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open. Somebody stop me. I know it's not the movie version, but taking a look at the box, you can see on the front, it says The Mask, which is the name of the comic book. If you didn't know, The Mask is a comic book. That's where they got the idea for the movie. And it looks pretty cool in my lighting, almost like it's on this side, we get a shot of the figure. And on the back, we get a spread of all the accessories and some shots of the figure with the accessories and action down there at the bottom. And it says the mask, Mezco 112, Mezco toys, etc. This side is the exact same as the other side. Top of the box, bottom of the box. And with all that being said, smoking. Here is our Mezco toys, the mask out of the box. As you can see, he is on one of the Mezco bodies. I don't know too much about them, but he does a very, very nicely tailored blue suit that fits his body very well. And it does not hinder the articulation. I've already messed with it. We've got some nice polished black shoes, a bow tie. And of course you come up to the head and he's got that giant green head, which is why people call him Big Head because he's wearing the mask and it gives him uh, the trickster god's powers, at least in the movie, that's where the powers come from. They're kind of unexplained-ish in the comic book. It's like cosmic and all that stuff. So it works for some people. It doesn't work for others, but I forget the name. Is it like Stanley or something? I don't remember. But the mask has a couple people that it goes through in the comic books. Um, but this is the one that everyone mostly knows, I believe. And, uh, and he's not in a yellow suit like the movie version, but he's in a blue suit. And he's been in blue suits, purple suits, green suits, yellow suits, whatever. I'm sure he's been in all kinds of suits, but that head is really where this figure shines, those huge teeth. And the suit is lovely too. It's, it's a really cool figure and I'm glad I picked him up. Um, I was like, mm, do I want him that badly? And yeah, I do. Cause I saw that third party movie one with a Jim Carrey likeness and it was just so cool, but so expensive at the time. And I was just like, you know what? Here's my chance to get my very own six inch scale mask figure. And honestly, the comic book version is even better than the movie version because it's like R-rated. It's it's crazy violent. So yeah, super cool figure and super cool character. Checking out his height. Let's see. He stands at, it's going to be somewhere around six inches. He stands at just about, if not a tad bit over six inches, just about six inches. <clears throat> going over the articulation, starting at the head, we get forward and backward a generous amount, side to side. The same can be said for that. Shoulders come up under 90 degrees, but it's it's fine. He's got some bunched up shoulders from that suit. There is a bicep cut in there. There are double elbows, so those are very nice. Um, torso articulation, we go back about that far, forward about that far. There's a bar or a dumbbell somewhere in the chest. His tie's out there. Oh yeah, look at the design on his chest. Some nice little skulls. He does have a belt down there, which is nice. Legs come forward to the side and back. Um, as far as articulation, I'm not as worried about messing with this figure as opposed to the Spider-Man and Green Goblin just because their suits are like uh, way more stress easy materials. Um, and he does have rockers and all that stuff on a ball peg for his feet. So decent articulation, what you would expect from a Mezco. Ah, I dropped a hand. But yeah, let's get into the accessories for our big head. First of all, we do get a lovely bag to put all of these, because there's a bunch, a bunch of accessories, all of these lovely accessories in. Then we get the stand with the uh, holder, and then we get these two big, big, like, look at, let's see if I can get them without taking them out. Look at the detail and paint on those. Those are really cool. I'm pretty sure the magazines come out. We'll check those in a second. I just want to show you like that's detached from that, but those obviously attached together. And then you get, so yeah, there are some magazines in there. So you do get swappable magazines and blast effects. There's a tiny little bullet on that one, even, uh, for these guys, that one too. So these are really cool, really detailed. Um, and there's a lot of them. So like, I do want to take them out and, and mess around with them, but oh, see, it's got like 
three barrels, but I don't want to like do it all at once because it's, it's going to stress me out. Three barrels on there, so that's very nice. Oh, he's actually got two magazines. I'm sure they're removable. They should be. Yeah, they, they are. So those come out. Sorry, I need to get my nails done. Um, those come out, so those are really cool. There's a rubber ducky on there. That's pretty sick. So that's a cool gun. And then we get this other honker of a, oh, that's got rockets on it. Like, where does this attach, does it? Okay, so that's swappable. So that comes off, and then you can swap it for a gun that has revolvers with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 11 barrels, 12 barrels, something like that. So that's pretty cool. You get two different guns in one with the rockets and the revolvers. Totally, he can make whatever he imagines, so you can just imagine, like, whatever, and just be like, yeah, I'm gonna end you with this. So that's pretty cool. Then we get a bunch of hands. We get some fists, some trigger hands, some open hands, a pointing hand, just one pointing hand, and two lit bombs. So those are a little scary. And then we get more weapons. We get a big revolver and Uzi with an extra clip in there. And we get a Tommy gun with a barrel that's attached. And I will show those in photography. They're just basic weapons. There's nothing special about them other than paint. It is very nice. I mean, they're not not special, but you know what I mean. Like, there's no special hidden features on these. These are just plain regular guns. And then the creme de la creme of the accessories are the two alternate headpieces. This one is probably my favorite. Probably how I'll end up displaying him with a bullet hole in his head. And he's just like laughing it off with the blood dripping down his forehead and over his teeth. That's really cool. And then you get this kind of effect head with him just like shaking his head or going crazy and it looks like it's in motion so that's kind of cool and you'll you'll see that if you stick around in photography I'll do the different head swaps and all that stuff but I will swap to the bloody head and one of the hands he's, he's missing a hand right now so let's give him a hand lol first up for scale and comparison we have our mask with spider-man and a xenomorph from Mezco here he is with the Moth X Homelander and Hiya Toys Judge Dredd for some more indie comic book goodness. Here he is next to Joy Toy and Loose Collector's Red Sonia. Moth X Starlight and Valiverse Legend of the White Dragon. And some custom Marvel Legends, which you'll probably see more of in the photography. So yeah. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that the Mezco Toys, the mask, is totally worth it because it's totally worth it to me. I mean, you saw the accessories, the detail the suit all of it it's just really cool to have this character in my collection and if you guys like this video make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe button check out my patreon for a dollar a month i just uploaded like five videos on there that you'll get to see before anyone else if you pay a dollar so just one dollar and you get to see stuff early we're doing two giveaways on my channel so check those out those are like the first couple videos you should see on my channel it should be linked down below I don't know if I've gotten there yet but I should do that um comment let me know if you have this guy if you're excited uh, about Mezco making more and more characters like they're getting licensed for cool stuff like the mask how your day is going just let me know what's up as always I love you I will see you next time and bye bye Mwah.